Hey friends, we're continuing through the New Testament together. We're just doing one chapter a day, five days a week. We've been starting this in January with Matthew 1. We're going through to the end of the year with through Revelation. And today we're in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And I'm just soaping a verse with you. I'm doing scripture, observation, application, and prayer. It's how I study. It's been I've been doing it for years. Uh, and it's a great way to study the Bible. It comes from the old methods used, ancient methods from scriptural study. Uh, and it's a simple way for you to find something that resonates out of a chapter and let it speak into your life. Today's verse for me came out of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11, where Paul is instructing the people of Thessaloniki not to feel like they have to command or tell or... Um, instruct everybody else how to live. See, the, the tradition of religious teaching throughout the world at that time was much like the Pharisees did in the Jewish faith. They would tell people how to live, but they'd do little to show it. You remember show and tell <laughs> when you were a kid, maybe in school, and you would bring something in to show it to the class and then tell the story about it. Well, that's exactly the model that Jesus and Paul is encouraging the church in Thessaloniki to do. He's saying, first show, then when asked about it, you tell. And it doesn't mean you can't share what you're learning or share what works and what doesn't, or even under the questions of people, share what the world, what the word says to people and how to live certain ways in the world. All of that's valid. You are witnesses of God's glory and God's teaching, and you are a witness for sure of the resurrection and what it means to your life. That's, that's our job to be witnesses. However, the Pharisees and other religious teachers from other religions are great at telling, but doing little to show it. Their show was all about what it looked like in the temple, but how they lived behind the scenes was never revealed. And so Paul says in chapter 4, verse 11 to the church, make it your ambition to lead a quiet life, to, to mind your own business and to work with your hands. And then he goes on and, you know, he says, uh, just as we told you, and your daily life will win, that, that hopefully your daily life will win the respect of outsiders. And then they'll ask you and then they'll question and then they'll want to learn and want to know the word of God. Your show leads to tell. Your show leads to tell. So what are you showing these days? What, what is your life and your lifestyle revealing? Do your words show a respect towards everybody around you, your family, your friends, neighbors, and so forth? Do your actions show what it looks like to lead a holy and blameless life? Do, do your do your work ethic and your effort to serve and the support you give to the community and the support you demonstrate to the church, do they show the world that you are sold out to Jesus? See, show it first, and then you'll be given the opportunity to tell. I find it fascinating how the more you live for Jesus, the more opportunities you get to share Jesus with others. So if you're not finding opportunities to share, May I suggest you go look, work on your show and let people see your lifestyle as you live 100% sold out for Jesus. The more you do, the more opportunity you have to share him. I like the fact that Paul tells this to the church. It's very applicable for today. Instead of social media being the place you display everything and try to give everybody your highlights, let your daily life show your lifestyle to everybody around you. And you won't need to display your highlights. People will see them and then they'll ask you to share why you live the way you do. God bless you as you do and may God make you profitable and presentable as a witness of Jesus through your lifestyle to the people around you. We'll see you again next time.